Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit here. Uh, I'm upgrading my batteries, installing an inverter and solar into my RV, and I'm trying to do it the budget-minded way. I'm not a full timer; only use the rig for like every, like most people, um, you know, vacations and weekends and stuff like that. So lithium and real expensive equipment is not on my agenda. Now I've already upgraded the batteries that was my first step I used AGM door cells from Sam's Club great affordable price I put in group 31's and replaced the two group 27's I had there today's step two I'm going to install a battery monitor now if you look on the internet or research Victron is the premier battery monitor it's over two hundred dollars um, that is not in my budget for a weekend and vacation camping. So I was researching and I found this battery monitor. It's made by Ali, A-I-L-I. And it's actually quite remarkable. For $40, it does most of what Victron will do. Now you can't set the parameters or anything. They're set, they're preset, but it says it'll work for flooded lead acid, it'll work for gel, AGM, and it even says it'll work for lithium. So everything's pre-programmed into it. But it's $40. It comes with the uh, display with three buttons to uh, do your settings. It comes with a shunt. Now you can get this in a 100 amp max or 350 to 500 amp max. I got the bigger one because I plan to put an inverter on. And uh, a shunt is real simple. You connect a negative one side to your negative post on your battery and all your other negatives go to the other side and this is for an extension cable to your monitor and this little green part here is where a wire will go to your positive of your battery just to power the monitor for no other reason it also comes with an extension cable it's about six and a half seven feet long for your monitor now the two things you do need to add to it is a short piece of wire to go from the shunt to the positive of the battery terminal to power the monitor and you'll need a small negative battery cable to connect the shunt to the negative battery because we're going to take all the negatives that are on the battery and put them to one side of the shunt and we need to connect the other side of the shunt to the negative of the battery that's how it, it reads it this is really a pretty simple upgrade and for forty dollars i think it's going to be fantastic so the first thing is get into my battery bay and see where I'm going to run this wire for the monitor. See how far I can go. So I removed my breaker panel and fuse panel to get behind this wall. I'm also in from other here. I ran that extension wire down into my battery bay. Now it's behind here. I'm going to run it up and I'm hoping I have enough wire. I'm going to try and put the monitor right here if I can reach. So I've removed most of everything so I can get my hands back here because I will need to get behind this monitor to put the bracket on that's going to hold it to the wall. Now you need a 2 and 1 8 inch hole saw for this to perfectly fit. Now I'm lucky enough I have one but if not I mean you could use a coping saw anything to make the hole uh, you just have to take your time. So. I'm going to attach this to the drill and then we'll drill the hole. Okay. See if it'll fit. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. So I'll get my hand back there and we'll attach it. So I have the wire connected to the extension. Take your time. It's like most RVs, super tight. So the object now is there's a threaded nut behind here. 
this goes on this way and this wing nut goes on and as you tighten it it'll pull it tight against the wall and hold it the trick is how to get your hand in there but slow and steady Perfect. Nice and solid. Flush mount. Now I can get all these wires back in, button everything up here, and then we'll uh, go to the battery bay and we'll connect this shunt up. Like most RVs, there's literally no space in mine. There's no compartment where I can do all electrical work. Everything has to be done kind of on the go and where it fits it fits I'm gonna actually put this shunt right here because I'm gonna connect this small jumper wire from the negative of the battery to the B on the shunt and then all my other negatives from the coach will go to this the P now this will be the plug that I ran through the back to the monitor and then this little power wire I made is going to go in one of these green holes. It doesn't matter which one. And it will connect to the positive of the battery. So the first thing I'm going to do, since it's so tight, I'm going to do this red wire first, this power wire. The next wire I'll connect is the monitor. And it just simply plugs in. And it bottoms out. And then we'll put this jumper on. So I have my little negative jumper cable, that's one out cable by the way, connected to the negative battery, to the battery end of the shunt. All my other negatives are going to go to the P side of the, the shunt where all the loads go. Everything, every other negative goes to this side. Uh, so I'm going to have an inverter, it'll go to this side, I'll have solar, it'll go to this side. Right now I only have this voltage meter. Uh, I'll probably remove it down the road, but for now I'll leave it. And my one negative cable for the chassis, I'm going to put that on there. We'll get the flat wash, lock wash, and the nut. And then we'll tighten that down. Okay, so the only other thing to do now is to get the power wire for the monitor connected over to the positive terminal of the battery. So we'll come over here and I'll connect it right there. So all my connections are done. Pretty straightforward. I've put some cable ties to clean things up. I have my power wire which I actually fused. And now the only thing left is to go to the monitor and we're actually going to program the monitor and tell it what type, uh, what size batteries I have. So. If you look here, I have 105 amp hour batteries. I have two of them, so I have 210 amp hours of uh, storage here. So we're gonna tell the battery monitor that so it understands it. So uh, let's see how we program that. So I got power to my meter, but it, it's not set yet. So you have to tell it how many amp hours your battery has and then you want to do this on a when your batteries are fully charged because we're going to tell it that our batteries are at 100 percent so the first thing it says to do is i'm going to press that button wake it up i'm going to go to ah on the screen which is amp hours and i'm going to hold it for three seconds all right, so it's defaulted, it says, at 100 amp hours from the factory. So I'm going to raise the up arrow, and I want to go to 210. That's how many amp hours I have in my battery bank.
Okay, 210 amp hours. And press set. And we'll just check that it stayed. Yep, it stayed. 210 amp hours. We're going to press that again. Now, the next thing we want to do is tell it that the batteries are at 100%. So we want to go to the percentage. And you can see it's not set here. And we're going to hold the key for three seconds. And now it says 100%. So now the monitor knows I have 210 amp hours in my battery bank and it's at 100%. And that's it. Now if I want voltage, wake it up. I hit the V. It tells me I have 14.5 volts. I'm plugged in right now. My converter's running. If I want percentage of battery, I hit percentage. If I want amps, it'll tell me there'll be a, a plus or a minus side if uh, amps are coming in or going out. And then if you hit AH, and it'll tell me I have 210 amp hours left. I'm going to, uh, I'll take a picture of these instructions. I'll put them on my website. I'll do a, a short blog on how to do all this. And I'll, if you want to read the instructions and see what it looks like, you can go there. I'll, I'll put it in some kind of PDF file or something. But that should do it. Uh, $40, uh, I mean, you can't beat it. And this, like I said, this will measure amps going out and amps coming in. So it'll give you an accurate reading of what your battery is. The install is not too bad. But as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.